A total of 71 health facilities were assessed across the country under the UK-funded project, and it was found that 95.8% of the facilities need urgent intervention. However, only 10 of those facilities will be rehabilitated under the project, valuing a total of 1.4 billion Ghana dollars from the United Kingdom aid program. The UK High Commissioner to Ghana, Gregory Quinn, clarified that contractors do not have to be from the UK and as such, the seminar was hosted for contractors and design firms to outline the procurement process for design, inspection and retrofitting works. So the assessments have been drawn up. They have led to the creation of a priority list of 10 health facilities, which have, has been submitted to the Ministry of Public Health for consideration. These priority facilities meet key selection criteria in terms of population served, vulnerability and impact to best serve the project aims. These aims are in place to ensure the widest possible population coverage and that the greatest needs are addressed. The review was completed by 27 local health sector specialists who were also trained to assist in other sectors following the completion of this project. According to representative of the Pan American Health Organization, Dr. William Aduko, the spaces being used for each function at the selected hospitals in the region were examined, including the architecture of the buildings, isolated areas and the use of energy and water. This has an impact on the populations that depend on these services on a regular basis, and especially in after natural disasters. For these reasons, it is important and imperative that we in Guyana do adopt the Smart Hospital Initiative as a national policy for risk reduction and to ensure that all new hospitals are built with a level of safety and existing ones are also retrofitted to suit. Also speaking at the event was Minister within the Ministry of Public Health, Dr. Karen Cummings, who noted that the government is committed to ensuring better health care. The Smart Health Facility project was launched in 2016 and runs up to 2020. It was clarified by the representative of PAHO that the Georgetown Public Hospital is not among the hospitals to be rehabilitated. Dr. Adu Crow related that any attempt to retrofit the GPHC with this grant will mean that there will be no monies left for other facilities. As such, he said the government will have to take up that challenge of renovating the GPHC. Reporting for a newsroom, PB Katoon.